Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to select colors in Photoshop and to change them without interfering with any of the other colors in an image. So here we have a good example where we have a field of flowers and we want to change the color of the flowers. So in order to do this, first off, you want to have the color sampler tool selected and select the color that you're going to want to change. It doesn't need to be precise because we're going to be selecting kind of a range of colors. Um, and now with the layer you're selecting from, basically in this case the image selected, go up to select and then color range. Now uh, for this dialog box, it's going to show you uh, in white color what it's trying to select. And everything that's black, the areas that are black, like all this green stuff in the background behind there, is going to be unselected by this tool. So if you keep it on sampled colors, that's going to be uh, using the color that we selected to basically get the most ideal results. And you might want to click around a few times to see if you can get one uh, that gets kind of right in the center of the different colors you want to select. So, uh, okay, right here seems to be really good. And uh, if you need to, you can increase or decrease the fuzziness. But in this case, because I have several different magenta-ish colors, I want that maximized. Uh, turn off localized color clusters if that's an option for you. And then we're going to go ahead and hit OK, which should give us our selection of all of these flowers uh, with the magenta color in our image. So the next thing we need to do, uh, still with this image in our layers box selected, Go down to the Mask Layer Creator to, uh, button. Down here it looks like a little circle with half full and half empty. And for that adjustment layer, we want to select Hue and Saturation from the drop-down list. So now uh, we can basically change the color of what's selected. And you can see it created a layer mask to go along with this adjustment layer. So this is only going to change the color of the flowers, and we can easily just change it to whatever we want here. So our flowers can be green, they can be red, uh, essentially any color you want. So I've been Chris. I hope this Photoshop tutorial has given you a great idea on how to change colors in your images, and I will see you in my future Photoshop content.